The legends all say that a creature lives there With gigantic feet all covered in hair And those who have seen it just run away scared It looks like a man that's been crossed with a bear Deep in the unknown Far away from home Something strange just can't be explained Be careful where you roam Late in the night I was on my way home When something told me that I was not alone Suddenly there I was caught by surprise The beast had appeared right before my two eyes In front of me there was a ginormous shape You stood like- I got excited because then the next movie came on and it opened up so positive Oh, because it had the most cinematic shots. But then we realized that all of that was just stock footage. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, guys, look at this good stock footage. Oh, then and the like, and then actual- And then it's just this uh, shirtless dude uh, with rock hard abs walking. going- <laughs> For the next 10 walking, minutes. Walking around this street. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was like okay here's the walk wait here's the mile long walk in this uh like gated neighborhood and that's all this they ever did in this whole movie he he was he was they were like at their uh, local autobahn society or something like that And so this guy's just walking and he's just walking and he's just walking tree walking walking oh look now we're watching trees start shaking about and and oh they don't shake the big trees because keep in mind those are way too big and so uh and then sasquatch is peeking behind like a couple of bushes just oh, oh don't forget don't forget he had a gun we realized he had a gun Oh, I didn't even realize. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, yeah what's the movie called? <laughs> D.B. Cooper versus, or Bigfoot versus D.B. Cooper. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got excited. We, we were excited at first. We were like, what? This is good. This is going to be great. How is this an LGBTQ? By the, way, by the way, that doesn't come into play until the last five <laughs> minutes of the movie. <laughs> how, how, is this very, how is this at all LGBT anything, right? And then all of a sudden... It, when in the first 30 seconds we realize <laughs> little did i know as i took that fateful trip i would encounter something far more dangerous and a hell of a lot bigger than turkeys can i help you i'm sorry i thought this house was vacant we rented it for the holiday <laughs> hey man hey how's it going What's going on, buddy? Yeah, this is uh, Chuck, Johnny, Lou, and Morgan. <laughs> we realized very quickly. No, no, there's only two men that ever have their shirts on and pants on in, in this movie. So what happens <laughs> from this point on is you have, he shows up at this weird house randomly. I don't know. We don't even know why he's going to this yeah, house. There's, there's, Five there's, men. One, there's one guy outside. He's... He's got his shirt off. He's drinking on the porch or whatever. And he's like, "Oh, hey, I thought I thought this house was vacant." He's like, "Oh no, we rent we rented it for the weekend." And then five other dudes come out <laughs> with their shirts <laughs> off. No, no, like, he, before that, he's like, "We," and then they all yeah. Go. yeah he's like, he's like hey, he's, hey, guy. Yeah, yeah, he's like, "We," and then he goes, "Yeah, hold on." All right. Come on, guys. Because they're, they're all standing right there by the door waiting for it. And then they're like, <laughs> so, <laughs> some random strangers show up. So they all go, look at our rock hard ass. And then they're like, yo, bro, no shirt as well? Bro, come in here and drink with us. And he's like, yeah. What do you hear? Let's do that. You hear uh, to shoot turkeys as well? So are we. <laughs> oh my God. You had the same idea. 
And then what happens? What, what? And then and then we stop. Then talking. DB Cooper, we get it. We get the History Channel narration of what happened with DB Cooper while stock footage is going on, and then then we see in the eyeglasses of DB Cooper really close that he's not actually in an airport or even an airplane. He's in, in a, a bar, bar talking <laughs> next to a wall. Stewardess, could you come here for a second? Yes, sir. Is there a problem? <sighs> Thank you, sir. I'll read it later. Then we get some running. Uh, no, then we get two guys who we did not establish from the house running we got, we got for the next 15 minutes. We got, well, we got the one guy and uh, milk duds. Keep in mind, and we then, have not had even a page of dialogue, and we are now 50, 35 minutes into this movie. And then they, they eventually come to the end of their run because they hear a noise, and then they have to go they back. They say, hold their... on, hold on, bro. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to constantly say that they are, they're talking bros. Okay, yeah. Look, yo, bro, because we they... need to go get our guns. When they got home... <laughs> They decided we need to change pants. Oh no! <laughs> change oh, change oh, our oh, shorts. Oh, they changed their shorts yeah. out on the because porch. Because, yeah, yeah. because they got to get their backpacks to get to pants on. They and get their I pants on. I still want to know what the hell is going on with Milk Dud's backpack. Yeah, that was the weirdest backpack. It, it, it couldn't hold anything. Big. It might as well have been a fanny <laughs> pack. Yeah, on your back. It was like the size of a wart on your back. You could only hold a pair of shorts. In but the guy yeah. was really <laughs> tiny. He had little man syndrome. They all convened but, in but, the living room, and they're like, "Hey, let's go three or two, 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 and I'll go shoot turkeys and see who gets the best." Boy. Army man's like, "Whoa, bro! I got a girl. I'm gonna go call her on the phone and then jerk off in the, <laughs> in the shower." <laughs> this is all true not a joke <laughs> i'm gonna go jerk off in the shower and they're like yo okay yeah well uh, then then we're gonna have to go two and three yeah well <laughs> it's okay we're gonna go hang out it's gonna be fun i'm a lover not a killer <laughs> come on morg she hasn't cut your balls off yet has she <laughs> whatever i'm taking a shower after three hours in the bronco with you guys i need it Smells manly. It's good for you. So they all get ready to go hunting. <laughs> uh, and what ensues? <laughs> it's 25 minutes. <laughs> so, um, so, so we, we watch. Uh, it, it's very epic. We watch one guy proceed up the stairs, around the corner, into a room, find, finds a spot in the room, where he's going to put down his gun, put down his pants, <laughs> but look into, look, proceed to look at himself in the mirror. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Constantly. And then change pants to shorts. And then... Whoa, wait whoa. a second. Do whoa, you see that whoa. in the mirror? It's me. <laughs> whoa. Mean, mean, yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile uh, oh. Bigfoot is watching. <laughs> Bigfoot's like, oh, yeah. And Which then I, they, I, then I they leave. understood because they're obviously on a top floor. Yeah. And he's always looking into a, a window that yeah. looks nothing like any of the windows around him. That is an issue that you overlook. And then, <laughs> because, then the man. Because once that person exits, Round two <laughs> comes up. The, the, the next guy rinse and repeat everything. And uh, we watch. It was four or five guys. It wasn't until in it, a row. It, it, 
scene by scene. Doing step the exact by step. same it wasn't, thing. It wasn't until the third guy going up the stairs, we're like, wait, hold on. <laughs> we're like, is this going to be the exact same thing? Are we going to watch every single one of them? Yes. Get him. Right there, right there. Ooh. And... Yes. <laughs> yes, we did. We miss only one, and that is uh, the main character guy. When when we uh, finally exit that, and we, we got excited that they all went outside. Finally. We're like, oh my god, different location, so and then they all start walking. Not a different location. And then some. Then then we watch uh, Army Man at home, upstairs. He's talking to his girl. Then he hangs up on. Then his he's girl. like, "Yo, girl, don't worry. About to be in the I'm shower. gonna think about you in the shower." Then he touches himself awkwardly uh, while looking at himself in the mirror. Yeah. Before he disrobes and yeah, ends up. Yep. Doing whatever he's doing in the shower. Yeah, he jerks off with both hands. Then one hand. It's it's more it's more or less. <laughs> then like, both hands. Then one hand. And then he, both hands. He, then he, one he, hand. He, then both hands. Then one hand. He's he's. <laughs> Zach's just sitting there going, "Oh my God, could we stop?" And then, and then but he, what's funny is this: we were thinking the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> and then, Can we stop? It's at this point where Bigfoot decides that I'm. It's the forty minute marker. I need to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so he starts getting. The guy, the guy just turns. Wow. Wow. Well, <laughs> probably because he didn't let him touch him. Initially not uh, shirtless guy. Yeah. He goes home and poops. I don't know what I'm doing next, but I know what I have to do right now. Bathroom break. You're not going back to the lodge? I bear my shit on these woods, but I don't. We're not waiting for you. Um, he probably pooped. He pooped. He shat his pants <laughs> when he saw his dead friend. And then he uh, he got killed. no. Keep in mind, he walked Outside. in. The door was open, so he flipped out. Yeah, he thought a he, squirrel he, came he in. put the gun up. He thought a giant squirrel came in, a nine foot squirrel. That's what we called the Bigfoot for a little while. I don't know. I should like it. It's just a squirrel. And so he's like, "Oh no!" And so we proceed to watch him walk around every room in this 57 room building. <laughs> uh, shirt, shirted guy ends up dying outside when he runs out after seeing his friend dead. In but the then the dude, main character dude, he, out of nowhere just decides to knock one of the fucking kids out. I don't know why. Just oh, hits him with the gun. It's explained later. It's, it's, it's explained, explained later, later, yes. But you don't know why, you're just like, huh? He's like, what's that noise? Okay. You wanna head back to the house empty handed? Come on. These turkeys aren't gonna shoot themselves. No, look out! So, so, uh... Milk Duds and uh, Tall Skinny Guy want uh, go back to the house, and Milk Duds decides he wants to take uh, go into the pool. While Tall Skinny Guy is like, "I want to change my clothes," and he's like, "What do you mean?" And he's like, "You know what I mean." And so he goes upstairs. I, I like how Milk Duds is walking towards the pool. Dun 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 dun. Sticks his knees in the water. He says, "Yeah."
Meanwhile, yeah, tall skinny guy is in front of a. He sees a mirror, and then when you're when you when you're the lore movie, of this movie is when you see a mirror, you have to look at yourself, stare at yourself. You have to take your pants take off. Take your pants off, touch yourself, and then watch yourself do some random uh, And then he he thing. decides to work out and, and do push-ups, sit-ups. At least and he wasn't grabbing his crotch like Army was, Man did. Yeah, was it was it <laughs> Army Man was grabbing his junk like, yeah. It was yeah. During, it was during the sit-ups where uh Bigfoot came in. And uh, Bigfoot's like, I'll hold your knees. <laughs> <laughs> but but then he, he got startled by Bigfoot and he backed up to the wall and Bigfoot decided to start kind of like going down and Big then back foot, up. Bigfoot's just tickling the like kid's body. To show that angle. It kept I showing, was, hey, hey, let's get, you know, you know, the director's like, okay, listen, hey, DP, I want the flaccid dick angle. Real, what's the flaccid dick? Uh, straight down, by the whitey tighties, straight up where you see the balls, right past the dick, over here. <laughs> That's the flaccid dick angle. I was. I, I, I'm sorry, I did not know. No, we, fired. We were Give all, me somebody who could get me flaccid dick angle. <laughs> we were all screaming when he started going every lower. Single time, <laughs> every single time his hand was going towards the dick, yeah, we go, like, no! Here's the belly button. We're like, no! <laughs> and what's so yeah. funny is right afterwards, this guy is apparently staring at Bigfoot, caressing him. And then Bigfoot, then all of a sudden it shows Bigfoot's face and it's like Bigfoot was looking away and then turns towards him. And the guy goes, ah! Well, Bigfoot let out a growl. Yeah. Yes, but it was like Bigfoot was doing this. And then goes, ha! Huh. And then he's like, ah! So Milk Dud hears his friend inside scream. Yep. Goes inside to investigate. What is it now? Johnny! What the hell is going on around here? I love that. I love his little. I love his little jog. Like, oh no, I'm a concerned jog. <laughs> yeah, I it was like a waddle dead. jog thing. My friend's dead. Later. He had to do the a big man waddle jog. <laughs> That's right! Follow me! Mm. Right into my trap! <laughs> FYI, at this moment in time, we are five minutes to the end. Five minutes to the end of the movie. Five minutes before credit roll. Yeah, and so far, D.B. Cooper has not even dropped down yet. He has not met Bigfoot. Nothing has happened. Cooper finally lands. And he's we're like, kind of, he's kind what? Of, he's kind of stuck in a tree a little bit, getting out of his parachute. And uh, I expected him to take his shirt off. Well, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> <Did> you, <laughs> I was expecting him to fall I'll Already out show of his, up shirtless. I was expecting him to fall out of his shirt, like just do like a one thing. Like he's up, he's about to land, he's about to land, just drops out of his shirt, leaves the parachute and his shirt. <laughs> And then, or, and then, or, and then, or, and then or just is, random people in the corner have tens. <laughs> when, when he sees when he sees Bigfoot, he goes, Rambo rips it off. <laughs> He's like, oh, let's or, do this. Or during the fight, his shirt ends up being ripped off. Die Hard style. He's yeah. like, <laughs> well, it, it's revealed that Billy or Benny or whatever the main character, the main characters, it's some kind of beating. It's revealed that through narration that he is actually 
D.B. Cooper's accomplice. He wasn't out there to turkey shoot. Yeah. He was out there to meet with D.B. And now, then, uh, so what happens they is... They confront Bigfoot. Bigfoot. They, they just stand there at the moment that they meet. They stand there, turn, and there's insert shots of the Bigfoot by grass and trees. And then, Ernie, what the hell is that? Better question, how far away did you park your pickup truck? I parked about 10 minutes away from you and hiked the rest of the way. And they're trying to shoot at it. Hey, nothing happens. Billy takes a few shots at it. DB's like, hey, let me have this gun. I'm a better shot. Hey guys, you remember Vietnam, right? And then there's no more ammo. Epicness ensues. It's not gonna end like this. The most successful air piracy in American aviation history. And it's gonna be foiled by some mythical creature. And then they say, fuck it, hand to hand fight sequence. DB Cooper versus Bigfoot. This shit's about to get off the chain. For a minute and a half. <laughs> and he uh, he actually punches and kills Bigfoot. <laughs> Not my money, you big hairy son of a bitch! Oh my god, you did it! They they what? they have this very bad boom 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 and then eventually DB Cooper gets Cut on the leg, and but kills Bigfoot with a roundhouse kick to the face. I don't know. They don't really show us wh how he knock out punch in any way. But then it's revealed that Bigfoot's a fucking vampire. Oh no! It's like Werewolf it's like thing, it's like yeah. if you get scratched by him, you become Bigfoot. So DB Cooper becomes Bigfoot in, by wow, just wow. making his face red. I don't think so, buddy. You got me. That's just a scratch. No, it's not a scratch. It's a mark. Get out of here. Get out of here. No! Can I, can I at least have the money? <laughs> okay, you keep it. And that's the guy, it. The guy, the other guy runs away. And Can I at least have the money? That's and then that's the end of the movie. It so, literally abruptly cuts. The way we work on this show, we do not pick the best movie of no. the night. We pick which one was the most horrendous, most torturing, most problematic, the one that we could not stand to watch because, ever again if our life depended because, on it. Because that is our goal in picking the movies is I want to pick the one that they will never want to watch again. Our goal in this show is to pick movies that are going to torture each other. That's what we've done today. <laughs> so, I, I'm going to go. I'll go. Okay, go ahead. I'll go. One that I did not get any enjoyment out of and I could not find any enjoyment out of was ticked off trannies with knives. That would be my pick because I could find enjoyment somewhere in all the others. I could not find enjoyment in that one. That, Your guys, I, let's go. I, I think I'm going to have to agree with you because when it comes down to story, that one had the worst story. <laughs> <laughs> above, above, DB Cooper and Bigfoot. Yeah. And, and the five minutes of story in DB Cooper's <laughs> was better than an hour and a half of the story of the TikTok tranny. Said uh, Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to agree with TikTok trannies with knives is the worst movie of the night. Uh, uh, it shined immensely over the shittiness of the rest of the movies. And I feel that the when TikTok trannies with knives became so hard to watch, 
Be not from subject matter, because of just shit. It was absolute shit. Subject matter, when you had the first movie, the subject matter got disturbing to watch because of just how gross it was. But it wasn't like, hey, this was absolutely just appalling to watch. It was just because, hey, this is somebody's vision and they wanted to have this guy's dick flapping around. They wanted to have him sticking his hand in somebody's dick butthole. Ticked Off Training is still the worst movie of the night. Well, thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed everything we saw. And uh, I hope you don't watch a single one of these movies. If anything, at least go go watch D.B. Cooper. <laughs> My, watch, I'm kidding. Watch Italian Spider-Man. That was the, probably the best movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. We had a bad night. <laughs> we had a very bad night. Hey guys, that's it for us. And always remember, keep watching really, really bad, bad movies. movies.